Let me ask you, are you dreading the one year anniversary of their loss? Or are you dreading an upcoming birthday or some other milestone date? I get it because anniversary and other milestone dates are so very hard to navigate sometimes. So let's walk together and I'll show you how to make it through these very challenging days. Hey friend, welcome back to Grief Questions Answered. I'm Eric and it's my goal with these videos to share everything I've learned about how to survive, find support in the loneliness of grief and how to intentionally get back up and live beyond the loss of a loved one. If this grief tip doesn't help you today, I am confident it can and will help you at some point in the future, so be sure to save this video to watch later on. Today's question comes from Anna who asked me, what am I going to do about their birthday? I'm dreading that day. It's coming soon and I know I'm gonna be a mess. Anna, your question actually hits home and it also comes at an impossible milestone in my journey as well because October 18th will mark 10 birthdays that Zoe's been gone and it just doesn't seem possible. I actually remember the very first birthday after she had died. It was nine months later and all I knew was that I didn't want to sit home that day. For me, I needed to get out of the house. If I stayed there, I know I'd be crying all the time. So I was dreading the date as it was approaching and it felt like it was actually harder leading up to the actual day than the date itself. But what came to me was that I needed to go out and do something on her birthday that honored Zoe. I didn't know what that was just yet. So I sat down and I kind of wrote out some ideas and I finally made a plan to go and visit her older sister Armida in Salem. And so as you can imagine on the morning of her birthday, the moment that I opened my eyes, I lost it. Nine months had gone by and the grief was still very raw and very deep. But because I had the plan to go visit Arminda, I wanted to bring her mom along as well. So I invited her to join us. And shortly after we arrived, we all hugged and we cried some more. And then Arminda got an actual call from her cousin who had docked their boat at the Salem Marina. And they asked if we all wanted to spend some time with them uh, that afternoon and it was a really nice cool October day in Salem with a few clouds and a light breeze and so we did go and honestly despite not sticking to the original plan of just spending the time with Arminda it was great spending time with my former in-laws they knew how hard it was because they had lost their son the year before but it was just a nice gift for all of us to spend time together and they took care of us the entire afternoon on the boat well, a little while later, out of the blue, this really dark storm cloud, single storm cloud, rolled over the boat and just opened right up and downpoured all over us. And you know what? We didn't care. Arminda, her mom and I just looked at each other and we just began to cry again. But then something really incredible happened. A rainbow appeared just off the stern. We knew it was Zoe saying hi and acknowledging that we were all coming together as a family to celebrate her on her birthday. At least to me, that's what I felt like it was. And it was honestly a reminder to me that everything would eventually be okay. We got off the boat a little while after that. It was absolutely emotionally exhausting, as you can imagine, but it actually made the day completely worth it in so many ways, especially when all I wanted to do was just stay in bed with the curtains drawn. We did as much as we could do despite it being a very difficult day for all of us, but we made it through, like you will, on those important days that you'll be facing too. And so here's the kicker. Just last month, on my birthday, my friends treated me to a wonderful day here in Florida. First, we went to a local German restaurant for lunch, and then over to one of our favorite beaches, and we just hung out there, and it was so nice, and the weather was perfect, and but on the way back, the weather was very much like the day in Salem. In fact, off in the distance, there was a singular storm cloud just pouring down. And I shared the story of Salem with my friends. And then just as soon as we got off the exit, boom, another rainbow. Zoe was saying hi on my birthday. Now look, this is what I'm choosing to believe. And I'm not suggesting that if something like this doesn't happen to you, that your loved one doesn't care about you 
love never dies and it will be okay as you continue to navigate these days too in the way you need to navigate them. And I know that what I just shared was part of a longer story, but the whole reason that I share this with you is because as hard as these anniversary days and milestone dates are, you're not alone. So here is one of the best ways to navigate those difficult days that are coming. First, create a plan on what you want to do on that day. It doesn't have to be complex. It can be as simple as going for a long drive or going to one of your favorite restaurants, going to Starbucks, picking up a coffee, visiting loved ones like I did, or maybe binge watching your favorite TV show. There is no wrong way to plan for this day. Next, on the actual day itself, do as much as you can do. It's okay. There's no wrong way to navigate the day either. And then finally, go easy on yourself. You're not broken. You're grieving. And it's okay to give yourself permission to feel what you need to feel when you need to feel it. It's okay to be sad on this day. And it's okay to be happy if you feel that too. Your level of happiness does not diminish your love for your loved one who's no longer here, no matter when you feel it. And so you deserve that. It's okay. I can tell you that better days are ahead for you. Every next milestone gets a little bit easier. And in my experience, it's so hard to navigate those firsts, let alone the tenths. But I will always approach these days with a plan and do what I can do. Remember, there is no run white there is no one right way to navigate your grief except for the one way that works for you. As always, I hope this helps. Do you have a question about grief that I can answer for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't done so yet, click that subscribe button as this is the best way to get notified of new videos just like this and to show support for the channel. Let's walk together and I'll see you in next week's video.